sexually self-confident do you feel? Mm. And has that changed over? How has that changed over the years? I, it's. I feel probably the most sexually self-confident that I've ever felt. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean right now, right now, but, but these days. <laughs> Not right now. Uh, <laughs> and it's changed a lot. It's it's. Uh, it's increased quite a bit over the years because I think growing up with low self-esteem, being very shy, um, you know, you, you just, it, it, it inhibits you, I think, from feeling confident. So it's changed tremendously over the years mm -hmm. with your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really fishing for that. Answer. No, no, but that's part of it. It was you helped a lot. <laughs> and and we do that for each other. Yes. yes. Right? And a lot of people when we talk about that idea of helping each other be more sexually self-confident, that too strikes fear in a lot of people's hearts. And and I think the reason that we don't worry about it is because we've come to understand that if one of us helps the other in, in becoming more sexually self-confident, there's going to be such gratitude that, you know, that other is not going to want to take that newfound self-confidence and go off by themselves and experience it, right? Because... Well, it's you, not you, off by yourself that's the problem. Well, well... It's a, it, <laughs> off with someone other than me is, is what people fear. Well, well that's, that's kind <laughs> of what that's I meant. What I, meant. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to clarify. You want to go off by yourself and be sexually self-confident? Well, I'm totally good with that. <laughs> so you're not afraid if I become more sexually self-confident. Mm -hmm. meaning, meaning out in the world that I'm more confident, that I might flirt with someone and feel good about myself and that interaction. Yeah. And that doesn't scare you. No, no, it doesn't. It, it, I think nowadays I, I, we've come to, to know each other so well that we know that it wouldn't be something that we'd act on. Mm -hmm. you know? we, we would just experience that flirtation and we'd you know, feel the energy. We'd bring it back home, share it with our partner, see if we could use it together. Yeah. Maybe go out together next time. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Helping each other become more confident whether it's in the bedroom or out of the bedroom, mm -hmm. will generate a, a great deal of gratitude. Yeah. That is not to be underestimated, the value of that, right? Their, yeah. their partner, if they're a good person, they're gonna be so grateful for you to you for helping them grow and expand and be more confident with themselves that mm -hmm. they're not gonna to wanna to go leave and go off with somebody else who they don't know what's gonna happen yeah. with them. Yeah. So, you know, there's another great benefit to all of this. That you more attracted to your partner when they're more confident. That's true. That, that is true. Absolutely. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of benefits in helping your partner become more self-confident. So thank you. My pleasure. <laughs>